Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Anna Bennett. She's been in the beauty space since 19 years old. She's won pageants, taught modeling. She's worked in the fashion industry as well. She's built an award-winning wellness spot and even started her own makeup line. And now, based on her experience of feeling lost, not seeing products in the beauty space that really truly addressed her symptoms she decided to create her own supplement line specific for women and the unique struggles and challenges that we have as we go through perimenopause and beyond. So I had the chance of trying out Anna's product, the the Bye Bye Dark Spots Hello Clear Skin Supplement prior to recording this podcast and I'm still taking it and my goodness I do feel like my skin has become firmer I do feel like things have changed I also feel more chill as well and it's interesting because her her products have a combination of herbs and things that are specific for skin but also for some of the other symptoms that go along with perimenopause and beyond so I'm a fan and I really want you guys to hear a little bit more about Anna her product and just we just have a great conversation in this podcast all about the changes and what's missing in the skincare industry and what Anna's schooled me on in terms of understanding with some of the changes so let's introduce you to Anna Bennett Hey, health junkies. I have Anna Bennett on today, and I am really excited about this podcast because she reached out to me on Instagram, and I have had the pleasure of testing out her supplements, and in particular, this this amazing one, and we'll get into it. I'm I'm not even going to go there yet. We're going to get into it, but this amazing one that can help me with my hyperpigmentation, so my discoloration on my skin from the inside out, not from the outside in. So, Anna, welcome to the Health Fix podcast. Thank you so much, Janine, for having me. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. Well, thank you so much for reaching out because, you know, there there is no product like your products out on the market because what you've got going on with Ooh La La Beauty Supplements, I mean, this this is not just your skin multivitamin like some of the other companies out there. You really like you have so much experience. I saw that since 19 years old, you've been in the beauty space. And I mean, so you've got, you've seen a lot of things, you've heard a lot of things. So Mm -hmm. tell us, tell us what got you into beauty in the first place? And then what had you thinking about an internal fix for the skin? Okay. So I'm 59 years old. So I'm going to try to get through my history as quickly (laughs) as possible. Okay. So yeah, 19, basically, you know, when you're at that age, it was just a fluke. Uh, a girlfriend of mine wanted to join a beauty page and she said, Hey, Anna, you know, come join me. Don't worry. You don't have to spend a lot of money on gowns. We'll get your sponsor. You don't have to pay for anything. And I'm going, okay, I better ask my parents because I don't know how they feel about me being on a bathing suit. I'm very strict parents. So anyway, make the long story short. Um, I eventually went through four beauty pageants in two years. It rolled over like I won one and then the next one, I have to go to the next one to win the other one. And then I have to represent that one to the next one. So it was just really, really a fluke. And so naturally, um, because I won a, a pretty major title, it opened a lot of doors. And because it's a beauty pageant, I guess, you know, beauty people come to you and, you know, they offer you gigs or whatever. And I ended up, you know, teaching modeling, makeup artistry. And then I got into retail management and that's really my career is, you know, the fashion business. And then, you know how you sometimes have these things in your heart and you just go, you know what, I just got to get this out of my system. And so that's when I decided I wanted to open up a spa. And I wanted to open up a spa close to my house because I'm getting really tired of going to spa all the way downtown, get my <laughs> massage and I can barely drive home. You know how that feels? Right? Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I used to have a spa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Don't, don't you want to just hope, you know, like, didn't you wish you like your house was just like a block away? Oh and my so, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So anyway, yeah, the, the whole spa wellness thing. And then um, I, you know, I was thinking of retiring. Everybody's telling me, well, why don't you just retire, retire? And I'm like, well, all my other friends that was, you know, basically my age are all still working. I'm like, I got nobody to hang out with. Forget this. <laughs> but really, business is in my blood. And so fast forward, I got into Pinterest marketing. Pinterest actually acknowledged me as a Pinterest marketing expert worldwide. I did that for t 10 years. And then I've been, um, I'm still working with uh, with a worldwide brand. Um, it's a natural, natural product. But here's the thing that I have really noticed. So I'm almost 60 and I think to my, you know, myself, right at, at this, I, I don't know if, if you've been thinking about this Janine, because you're, you know, you're, you're much, much younger than me, <laughs> but you're going to get in a stage in your life, maybe, you know, midlife, let's just say 50, right? Mm -hmm. It's half. Mm -hmm. And so you start thinking about life somehow you, whether, you know, you, people, uh, places, things, uh, people re start reminding you of, you know, what are you maybe going to do the rest of the second half, mm -hmm. right? Or people start thinking about reinventing themselves, or maybe it's just you're evolving to another person or whatever that is. And so I felt if I was going to get into another business that we all know, like they say, you know, you got to solve a problem in business. You try <laughs> to be the first and all of that. And so I guess with all my experience and what I'm seeing in digital marketing and so forth, and really my passion and what I can relate to and what I can offer, been there, done that, it made sense to me to really help out the perimenopausal women, the journey. <laughs> you know, I had no idea there was three phases of menopause. <laughs> I thought it was just called menopause. I didn't know there was peri and there was menopause. <laughs> And, you know, menopause, Janine, only really happens for a day. <laughs> that's crazy, right? It, it's crazy. And then there's post-menopause, and I'm obviously in the post-menopause. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to create something that was very much like me, and I feel very much like women. We okay. want to get a lot of value. We are multitaskers, right? We don't just do mm -hmm. one thing. I think we're really good at multitasking. Even if they say not to multitask, I don't know. Do you multitask, Janine? Uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Yes, of course. Of course. Right, right. <laughs> well, you're brushing your teeth. I don't know. Maybe you're texting or, you know, <laughs> something like that, right? We're, we're kind of multitasking. And so I, I've always, you know, been a very healthy person. I love wellness. I love beauty. And really, I just felt, you know what, I, I need to come up with an inside out approach. I just felt there's so much emphasis on what we look like on the outside. Mm -hmm. And to me, really beauty from within is not just tackling, um, you know, your health issues from within, right? And out, you know, really, to me, beauty can also be about kindness and thoughtfulness and generosity and helpfulness, all of those things. But I just find that uh, as a society, we put so much emphasis on the outside. Mm -hmm. And so this is really, really what, what I wanted to, to talk more about healing our bodies uh, from within, right? Thinking good thoughts, all of those things. So and that's, that's the reason why I came up with the formula where you can literally take a capsule, right? That's not going to gag you. It mm -hmm. doesn't stink when you open up the bottle. Okay. Uh, that really tackles your skin, your mind, and your body issues. So it's a multitasking product, right? So we came up with the first two products, but the one that you're trying is the Bye Bye Dark Spots Hello Clear Skin. Yes. Yes. I absolutely love that. And I had a hard time deciding which one to go with. And I mean, the, the ingredients are unique. It's not something you find in, you know, products that we're looking for skin radiance, right? We're, we're thinking, mm -hmm. you know, more on the lines of oh, multivitamins and, and biotin, you know, that's kind of the ubiquitous skin. Yeah. The hair skin stuff, stuff. The hair and nails. Yes. Yeah. yes. Whereas, you know, the look and feel younger product that you have, I mean, there's there's not many products where I've seen astaxanthin, so the antioxidant combined oh, with black so cohosh, combined with ceramicides. I mean, I don't see any products barely with ceramicides. I mean, this is absolutely unique. 
Yeah, and, yeah, we are definitely, I'm pretty sure we're the first. We've done so much research and um, we haven't found anybody that really has come up with, with something like this. And you know what, with sustainability is so important. You know, the more we consume, uh, the, the less we consume plastic bottles, the more being, we're being earth friendly. Right. You know, and, and that's also another reason why I want it to be multitasking. Like, why do I have to have one bottle for vitamin A and one bottle for astacin and one bottle for ceramides? I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah. Don't we have enough to think about as women? Like, don't we just want to just, you know, pop it yeah. and get on with our day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything in one makes it so, so much easier, so much easier. Now, I mean, obviously, guys, we're talking about the look younger, feel, you know, look and feel younger. Boy, I'm getting that one all twisted in my head, but look and feel younger right now. And then the one that I was I'm taking right now, by the way, folks, I'm about just about to, to reach a month. I've got a couple probably like a week and a half or so before I get there. And I'm, I'm loving it so far, but I wanted to get two bottles, right, Janine? Oh, right? yes, yes. We, yeah, okay. Which let's talk about that for a second, because this is really important for folks to understand that like skin isn't something that you take, you take a supplement and like, boom, your skin is like, all of a sudden you look, you know, 20 years younger. This is something that we need more time to work with, to help the body to get some change over time. Same with the, the, the both products you have, it's, it's equal, correct? Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's the thing, first of all, a lot of a lot of us, when we when we have skin issues with our skin, right? We auto, we automatically automatically we thinking, okay, what's wrong with this product that I'm that I'm using, right? Mm -hmm. Am I mixing it with the wrong stuff? Am I not doing it in the right order? I mean, there's so many freaking things that you've got to think about when it comes to topicals, and really, topicals only addresses twenty percent of our skin concerns. Twenty percent—that's nothing. Right. And, wow. and we go crazy over the next, the, you know, the next potion and lotion, <laughs> right. We're, we're, you know, we're always hunting for the next, you know, miracle, miracle thing. Um, yeah. So it, pe people don't realize that it's actually a lot safer and easier when you're consuming from within than outside. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is how we started to talk about the whole retinol thing. Yes. And yes. I saw your post on Instagram and you started talking about something, I don't know. And it, and it, and it triggered me to, to, to comment on that. Yes. Yes. I can't remember what I was talking about either, but you had mentioned the retinol and, and this is oh. something that I had no idea because you're mentioning skin, right. And, and, and we we're talking, I don't know what I was talking about on Instagram guys. I apologize, but either, either way, it got us into talking about retinol and how it can thin the skin because most skincare regimens for women pretty much 30 and I'm even seeing 20 and older now, mm -hmm. which is kind of disturbing to me, but mm -hmm. we're, we're ultimately always marketed. And when I on the spa was the yes. same thing, we're marketed that you need a retinol, you need a retinol, you need a retinol. Right. And, right. and, and to the point where I also am recommending these things, you know, yeah. so you told me that it thins the skin and I'm like, what? Tell me more. Yeah. So tell us, tell us about it. Okay. So here's the thing. You're, you're going to hear some people say that it doesn't thin the skin. You're going to hear some people that say it does thin the skin. So, um, let, let me tell you something. From my experience, it thins the skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my experience. You know, other people I'm sure have their own kind of experience. You want to know why I know it thins the skin. There's two things. So you're going to notice that you're going to, you're going to be shedding and peeling. Mm -hmm. Some people think, even some people think, oh, you know, I use retinol for exfoliation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because you're seeing it, you're seeing your skin like go, go, go flaky and everything. You're thinking, oh, that's probably just, you know, the, this, this, the skin, the dead skin's falling. No, the, the retinol's job is to produce like a cell turnover, right? Our, our, our skin renews basically every 28 days or whatever. Yeah. Okay. But what I know, so that, that's a sign, like it's just the, that's why you have to moisturize so much when, when using retinol. Another thing, I went to a dermatologist about a couple of years ago because I noticed um, a, a mole on my scalp was growing and it was growing. This was disgusting. It was like black. Anyways, he called it a wisdom wisdom mole. Oh, 
Oh. I guess when you get older, you get wisdom moles, eh? <laughs> you know, that, that's what he called it. So I, I'm going, Doc, what, what do I need? Like, this this thing is growing and growing on the side of my thing. And it, like, you know, like, it, it like, like there was one growing here. And I'm going, it, it could literally stretch into, like, a round black thing. It was black. And it was, like, it, it was, like, it looked like a cauliflower. Mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the, the texture of a cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I used retinol because I was so desperate. He says, there's nothing you can do about it. Not, nothing you can do. Okay. Huh. I put retinol, that thing flattened out, flat, smooth. Do you know how powerful that is? That's, uh, that's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was a thick mole, thick, thick mole. Imagine me putting that on my dry, sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like basically you're just taking it and you're scratching the living crap out of your skin barrier. And that's really dangerous because your skin barrier is there to protect you from the sun, yeah. from the, the, you know, from all the, the crazy radicals, right? The pollution and, and all of those things. So the retinol, it's just, it's thinning it, making it smooth because everybody wants this smooth, fine line wrinkles, like they're ironing it out. Okay. It's helping with the acne, the large pores or whatever. It's really aggressive. It's very aggressive. And when you get older and as you mature, your skin type and your skin condition is going to change. Mm -hmm. whatever skin condition like you have. And so when I'm talking skin condition, Janine, I'm talking sensitivity, eczema, rosacea, acneic, mm -hmm. that's skin condition that the person has basically created. A skin type is something that we're born with. Right. Okay? right. We got that from our parents. We have no choice. Like we didn't you know, we didn't get, we didn't basically get involved in that decision, right? Mm -hmm. We are born with that skin type, but I had combination skin basically all my life. And then it, it turned into dry. Like there's just no oil. Like it's just dry everywhere now, but the skin is just, as we get more mature, especially because of the estrogen, it starts to lower. And this is where menopausal kicks in. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so much more fragile. You really got to baby it, which is why less is more. You've got to use less products, but they better be good products. Yeah. They have mm -hmm. to be good products and people are just exfoliating too much. And then, then, and then they go use retinol and then they go out in the sun. Can you imagine that? Right. I, I actually can. I've done it. I've done it. We all, we've all done it. Oh my gosh. I'm a perfect example of what not to do. I mean, this is the reason why I'm shit. Seriously. I have melasma. Melasma mm -hmm. is even worse than just, you know, the dark spots. Melasma is like this, like a map mm -hmm. that's like spread out all over my cheeks. Mm -hmm. No, no amount of concealer is going to cover that up. You know, uh, it's annoying. Um, this morning, I said to my husband, okay, it's hot. It's going to be another hot day. We, we need to get that morning walk in right away because the heat triggers the melasma. Yes, it does. You just opening the oven makes that melasma worse. Melasma is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> you know, interesting you mentioned melasma because I think a lot of women will see that kind of we it'll show up often after pregnancy but then another time that is the is the menopausal time frame in the perimenopause when we have the ups and downs of the hormones and one of the things that i've seen with women and i'm, I'm curious if you you've kind of looked at this at all is the the fluctuations with hormones in terms of the progesterone levels going yes. up and down and yes, and women will start taking progesterone and we can see some melasma starting for them as well yeah exactly yeah it's it's annoying yeah. Uh, so you had mentioned the thinning and I think a lot of people, you know, might be thinking right now, like Anna, so basically the effect that retinol is giving our skin, that flattening and taking off the layers and thinning it is one, the benefit we see from the smoothing and the fine lines and wrinkles is really just the thinning of the skin is what yeah, you I'm think, getting and at. You think it's working, right? Yeah. So now you think it's working. Oh my God, my skin is so much like smoother yeah but mm -hmm. guess what you've just taken off your skin barrier 
Right. And, and like you had mentioned with the dryness over time, and this is something that a lot of women, you know, as they transition, I find from menopause, like perimenopause, menopause beyond, it does seem like the, the fatty barrier that we once had, I call it our duck skin that, you know, allows things to kind of roll off. We really lose that. So, you know, what you're saying makes a lot of sense in terms Mm -hmm. of things. So Mm -hmm. obviously working internal Mm -hmm. is something to build it up. What can someone do? You know, obviously we take your products. We consider, you know, going through, through your products to, to help thicken up the skin a little bit. Do you think that there's, there is potential to get the, the thinning effect back, like basically reverse the effects of taking and of applying the retinol? Yeah, well, see, so one thing I'm really, really careful with um, is is our claims, right? I mean, absolutely. This is why, like, we, you know, we say in everything that we do in our blogs and and all of that, we that that our stuff does not basically, you know, cure, prevent, uh, whatever, right? The the curiousness thing, like, you, we got to be really careful with the claims. Um, FDA is so strict about that. I mean, they they can they can um, put you out of business in, in no time for sure. Absolutely. So, um, okay. So sorry, where, where are we at? I was thinking mm-hmm. about the FDA. Sorry, <laughs> no, we don't want to get you in trouble with the FDA. What I was getting at is basically the, what we've got in terms of your product and vitamin C, the black cohosh, because it's going to support estrogen production, beta mm-hmm. carotene, which is an antioxidant, astaxanthin, and even mm-hmm. the ceramicides helping with the, the fatty layer, helping with the, the hydration. As, as, yeah. 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 Okay. So here's the thing. So there's a reason why we use specific ingredients. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I know like, for example, with the whole, you know, retinol thing, some people use that for the cell turnover. Some people use mm-hmm. it for the acne or the large pores or blah, 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 whatever. So we've, we've added the ingredients that will do what the top, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we've included the ingredients that will pretty much do the same thing. So why, why risk all of these things topically when you can do the same things internally? Excellent. Right? So that's, that's the reason why we chose certain ingredients. And the most important thing is that they're relevant doses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, you ever look in the back of the vitamins, Janine, and you look Mm -hmm. at the daily value Mm -hmm. on the back, if you look there, it says the percentages, it should say a hundred percent in each, but if it doesn't say a hundred percent, that means you're not getting the right amount that should be good for your optimal health. Right. Right. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. They just look at the ingredients, but they, yeah. they don't look at the percentages because most people, we don't know what these numbers mean, but that's what it means. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is important to look at those percentages because sometimes you'll see it and it'll say, and then this is sometimes people will ask me, well, is this going to hurt me? Because it says it's 1,200,000 percent of the daily average. I just... I totally just exaggerated that, but you'll sometimes see a thousand, a thousand percent of the the recommended daily allowance. And sometimes we do need a little bit more to get effect. And obviously you guys have done your homework. All of your ingredients are research backed. Now, one of the things that I think a lot of folks probably haven't heard of, and and this is in the product that I am using, the Bye Bye Dark Spots Hello Clear Skin, it has the red orange complex. Can you Mm -hmm. explain to us what that is a little bit more? I think a lot of folks would be like, what is that? And then in all reality, I had to look it up too and be like, what is that? Okay. Well, I'm definitely not a scientist. I'm not the expert of all the ingredients, but basically, you know, red, the red uh, orange is actually nine times more powerful than say what you would get from a navel orange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Basically, that product is just designed really to just diminish the dark spots and the, the pigmentation. So it's just an it's just another form of, you know, vitamin C. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well, I think a lot of people right now are trying to get away from the synthetic vitamin Cs and and looking yes. more towards, you know, what can we have that's powerful? Because I have found through my own 
experimentations on things like moles and and some of what they call the liver spots and putting vitamin yeah. C on them, I will see those diminish quite a bit by putting some of the topicals. And so now I'm really excited actually to see how the Bye Bye Dark Spots Hello Clear Skin works on some of my moles that aren't necessarily on my face, because I think this is another aspect of this that I want folks to think about that when we take something internally, we get all over work, not just Mm -hmm. when we put something topically on our face. And so Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see what happens with the dark spots on my like legs or my belly, because I have Mm -hmm. some interesting stuff there. And so I'm mm-hmm. super curious to see how that works. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing, you know, I always tell people, I mean, let's, let's talk about you no know, retinol, right? Because it's yeah. just one of the more, you know, aggressive actives. That's what they call them actives. So, you know, you can expect to see results. You got to wait at least three months for something like that. And that's already a very, very aggressive ingredient. So I tell people when it comes to supplements, you've got to give it at least three months because you've got a lifestyle factor Mm -hmm. that I know you are still continuing that you don't want to give up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or there's something, there's something that you, you just need to have the supplements, whether it's, you don't have the time you're constantly traveling. I mean, seriously, does everybody eat right? Like, does everybody have a bowl of, you know, broccoli so they can get in their vitamin C through their (laughs) broccoli every day, like every single day? Like, it's just impossible. I go to the grocery store. I'm I'm sometimes looking for ginger and I don't find any ginger. Right. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. this is where you really just need to be smart and make it easy for yourself. And just start really thinking about, you know, how can I fix my body from within instead of always just thinking you know, outside. Right. So I, I just think, you know, supplements is just a no brainer. Um, it's, it's, it saves you so much time and money. Imagine having, you know, people that juice, I mean, I juice every morning, Mm -hmm. right. Um, I definitely have my vitamins, but I don't have, I don't take a lot of vitamins. I, I don't take a ton of vitamins. I, I don't, I wouldn't say I do that. And and I specifically didn't want to take a lot of vitamins while I was testing our supplements, just because I wanted to see if I felt any different, because you're going to feel, you're, you're going to feel something, you know, again, our supplements is for, you know, your, your mood, your energy level. Um, and, and, and the skin, it's not just for the skin. I, I mm. really, because I really believe that you have got to feel, if you don't feel good on the inside, your skin is just, it's, it's, it, it, it's not going to translate to, to like glowing. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, it, it's just not our, our skin tells us a story. It, it tells you a story about what this person has gone through. Mm-hmm. Right, you, you can tell. You can tell when someone's had a good life, a hard life, through yeah. through your skin. It's our largest organ, and somehow we just, you know, we don't really think about how it protects us, how 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 it coats us. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I just I'm on a mission to just make things really really easy for women. Midlife is not easy. I went through. At first, I counted sixty seven. Now I've counted over 70 I've come across other symptoms and I'm now to to 72 that I've recorded in the last 20 years wow uh yeah it's it's been hell and um I've gotten some of the worst symptoms inc- including depression we, this is the reason why I wanted something for for the mind to make you feel good mm-hmm. make you happy right mm-hmm. I mean how can you how can you expect to go on with your day and grow a beautiful garden if you have no energy Yes, that's true. We that's need true. energy for everything that we want to do in life, whether it's traveling, cooking, cleaning, right? <laughs> Taking care of our loved ones. We need energy. So energy, the energy factor was really, really important for me to put in there. So you're the one that you're trying has energy component on there and about the mood and the irritability, right? I want to be cranky all the time. <laughs> I right? did. 
I did find it interesting that you had the rhodiola and gaba in there. And, yeah. and, you know, that that's also a unique component. And so now I'm understanding more as to, you know, when I was looking, I'm like, okay, interesting. She's covering the hormones and covering mood and covering skin. So we've got all of it in one. So yeah, no, it, it, you know, you don't want to be cranky. You don't want to, you know, be kind of on a roller coaster of, of yeah, sorts. Yeah. I mean, you know, that that's the thing. I mean, you know, we're a beauty and wellness supplement, mm -hmm. right? It's, 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 it's not just about, you know, looking good on the outside, but it's, it's feeling good and just, you know, being good. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think one of the things that you really are tapping into is that so many people will come to me in the perimenopause to menopause state and say, I just don't feel good in my uh -huh. skin. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of weight in that there. And, and now you're telling me 72 symptoms, holy cow. You know, I, I think you're not, unfortunately not uncommon that many women do have this, this struggle. Now with taking your supplements, when you started taking them, you noticed obviously, cause you put them to market that you started feeling better. How, uh -huh. how long, how long for you did it take to where you started to feel like, wow, I really feel like I have more energy. My mood feels a little bit more stable. I feel like I'm on to something here. Okay. I think I've got a couple more weeks. I think I've got a couple more weeks and I'll finish my three months. Okay. Um, for me, uh, so I, I'm taking both the bottles because I, I need help. Mm -hmm. I need help for, for both the bottles. Um. I'd say I started to feel something in about six weeks, not a month. The first thing I noticed with this, was the ceramides. My my skin was more buttery. Mm -hmm. it was it was more buttery? Um, I'm really happy with the um, with the bye bye dark spots. You know, my melasma was one of my biggest issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm finding that that is definitely diminishing. Um, melasma, you know, there's no cure for melasma. Mm -hmm. There's, there's no cure. It's a, it's, it's something, it, it's just really, really bad for some women. I mean, like for me, okay, I, I got melasma, but you, you know what? It's not the end of the world for me. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like I want to get rid of it. So I don't have to, cause I hate wearing makeup, you know, especially in the summer months. I <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I, I think women need to let their skin breathe, yes. you know, I'll just, let let it breathe because makeup is so bad for your skin. <laughs> I mean, you know, people think about clean beauty, clean beauty, right? But you know, a lot of makeup isn't clean beauty. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> right. It it isn't. But you know, it clogs your pores. It 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 just I just you know I mean if you want to put on makeup, great. I mean I you know I've got makeup on right now because I want it to look good for you, Janine. <laughs> Uh, but really most days, like, forget it. I, 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 I don't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. I never do. I, I quit. You don't quit. need it. Oh, thank you, you. you. You don't need it. You know, um, I, I, and you know, the whole, the whole cake you look, that's, that's gone anyway. That's, that's not, <laughs> that's not in any way. So yeah. <laughs> well, the fresh glowy cloudy look is, is the in thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think I think for so many women, you know, makeup and, and definitely the whole clean beauty and not clean beauty with clogging pores and, and what makeup does to the skin. I think it's, you know, it's something that we definitely do need to think about a little bit in terms of just what what these things are doing in terms of the impact. And I find that even makeup for me has dried me out a lot. The ingredients that were in it almost like made me more flaky. And so I looked instead of a lot of flaky. alcohol. Yeah. A yeah. lot of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, it doesn't, and it, a lot of times it doesn't even look good. Like it's don't put it on properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I really admire women that can just have just healthy skin, just healthy. I think that to me is just, I think to me, that's beautiful. Just having a nice, beautiful, healthy skin. Yeah. Well, you're definitely on the track with some good stuff here. I absolutely love the two products that you're working with. And yeah, I I I chose the the Bye Bye Dark Spots because I was like, that's kind of my big thing. And it's my entire body. I have weird dark 
purple spots as if it's bruises, but they've been there for years have and you, years. Have you ever had them checked? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No one. No clue. No one knows what it is. I didn't is go. That right. Wow. Yeah. No one knows. You don't have a name for it? Doesn't have a name. Um, it was. Wow. I've went down the routes of folks thinking that I had an autoimmune condition, that I had something called idiopathic thrombocytic purpura. It is not that. Um, and, and then there was the thought that maybe I had really elevated blood sugar and it was the acanthosis niger can. So it's a darkening of the skin from blood sugar bounces, but no, none of it came back. And um, really the last thing I was told was, well, it's probably stress causing melanin to overproduce. And the mm -hmm. more research I've done, I've figured out, okay, yes, we make cortisol in the skin. And I'm like, maybe I'm just trapping cortisol in my skin. So when you actually reached out and I saw, oh my gosh, something for melasma and hyperpigmentation from the inside out, I'm like, I think that's what I need. And, oh. and so um, I'm, I'm testing for you to see if my spots go away on, yeah. on my body. It's, it's a real honor for me, Janine, for you to try it because, you know, obviously, first of all, you know, you're, you're, you're a doctor and I really, really value you, your opinion. Um, I do hope that uh, it meets your expectations, you know, which is, which is why I reached out to you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how things go. Now for folks who are listening, they're probably like, okay, I want to learn about this. Now you have a quiz on your website for folks yeah. that they can take to see kind of what's going to be the better product for them. Correct. Yeah. Right. Tell us a little bit about that quiz, like what they can learn from that too. Cause I know it's more than just which product they learn more about what's going on too with themselves. Well, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you know, for me, it was evident that I needed both products because I created the products based on what I needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, but basically, yeah, I mean, the quiz is just really, really simple. Um, it's, it's basically like a multiple choice. It'll tell you, you know, what what are you are you feeling like? Are you getting hot flashes? You know, is, is your skin dry? Um, are you unhappy about your hyperpigmentation? So it'll ask you questions about basically your skin, what what your mind is going through um and what your body is feeling and then it'll it'll tell you yeah you need both products or maybe you just need one of the products but i i do recommend that you take the quiz now for those people that are that are listening in your audience mm -hmm. if i had to do this all over again if i was like 30 something the first thing i would tell women is to track their periods mm -hmm. Please track your periods because at some point when we stop having that menstruation, right, for 12 consecutive months, after the 12 months, that's, that's when you're in menopause for a day. And <laughs> then now you're on post-menopause, which <laughs> opens up a whole new door of <laughs> symptoms, <laughs> okay? But, oh my gosh, w my doctor didn't tell me any of this, Janine. My doctor, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I don't even have a doctor today. That, that's how bad it's gotten. Um, I just go to like a walking clinic if I, if I need something, if I'm, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just wish that women need to know that. They need to have a go get, a, you know, whether it's an app or a checklist. I, I, I have a checklist where on, on my website and even on Instagram, you can download immediately. But It'll list all the symptoms and just start checking them off, put a date on it or something. But you got to start tracking it because a lot of physicians are just really not equipped with the right tools, the right information, resources, et cetera, et cetera. And not, it's not really their fault. That's just the medical system, right? In, mm -hmm. in the United States and Canada, it, uh, in UK, they're a lot more on board with this. They're, mm -hmm. they're really on it. It's, it's very impressive what, what they're doing, but, um, and that way, if you're young, young lady and you're starting to miss, you know, at least you have something and you're not going crazy thinking, am I doing this to myself? Right. Right. right? It's, it's, you start, we start blaming ourselves as women. Like, did I bring this on? Did I bring on the bitchiness and the impatience? <laughs> okay. Did I bring on the weight gain because, yeah, I'm emotional eater? 
no, at some point, regardless of what you're doing, you could be like a perfect health nut and you are still going to get that muffin top. Mm -hmm. You're still going to have the drug. You're still going to have these issues. But at least if you know what to expect, mm -hmm. you're not going to go crazy. You know, I got depression. I ended up getting skin cancer. I ended up getting so many things that I hope women will never like uh, will never experience. Right. But if you got to get ahead of this, otherwise it'll get ahead of you. Yeah. 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 Really making a connection with yourself. I, I'm always telling women, get curious about yourself. Get as curious as you can possibly be. There you go. There you go. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, start doing journaling. If if you don't have a journal, just, 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 just write it down. Yeah. Because again, like there were so many issues I couldn't understand. Explaining it to my doctor and she's like, oh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to tell you. I yeah, it was just, oh, okay. You think you're in menopause? All right, well, let's just give you this and this and this and this and this. It was just really, really crazy. Oh my goodness. So I'm curious, Janine, how, how do you how do you help uh, women that are going through this, specifically for the perimenopause? Is, is there some, it, do you have a service, something that sort of helps women yeah. with, with this issue? Because- women are like, I see it on social media, like they're going crazy. They're just not getting the help from their doctors. Yeah. 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 That's why I do what I do. Um, you know, really? Yeah. There's, there's testing to know where your hormones are at. There's also a lot of metabolic testing we can do to see if there's vitamins or minerals that are contributing to what's going on. We, I typically will look at saliva hormones versus blood because they're a little more accurate to know like what's going on in the tissue. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's, and then we come up with plans and protocols and, and really like you're saying, tracking periods. So women in the like pre and perimenopausal state, it's, awesome to know your cycles. Cause now, you know, what part of that month things might yeah. show up, you can be preventive. So yeah, yes. I work, I work on that. I work on internal health. Um, and I, I think the more that like you're doing and, and we can empower women to, to take charge of their health, to know like about their bodies and understand why certain things are happening. You know, mm -hmm. this is, this is kind of my main jam, understand your body and then mm -hmm. work with it to understand what you can do to ease the same perfect. That, no, that's awesome. Now, uh, what I want to ask you, I really, I really wanted to get an answer from you because um, when I went to see a naturopath, I've I've seen a couple during mm -hmm. this period, and they said both said, "Oh, um, well, you know, you can get your hormone testing, but you know, they 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 go up and down every day, so I don't recommend that you do it." So what do you? What? So I didn't do it. So I never really knew what was going on with my hormones. So what, what is your take on that? But then some say, no, you should do it. It's yeah. so confusing. <laughs> for every, yeah, for every one answer, there's five. Um, here's, here's what I tell folks. Yes, hormones do flux, but we can see a pattern. If you, mm -hmm. if you collect data on yourself and we pair it up with looking at hormones between day 19 and 26 of your cycle, because for those of you that are still having a cycle, that second half post ovulation, we want to get an accurate read on progesterone because mm -hmm. progesterone is what keeps estrogen from doing the roller coaster as we head in to perimenopause and beyond. Now for the women who haven't, have already stopped their periods, the periods stopped, they're in menopause. The cool part about keeping track is that you have data for us, but we still will tend to cycle even, mm -hmm. and maybe you've noticed that's that there's still somewhat of a cycle, even though we might not have a period. So mm -hmm. what I combine, it's really 5% is the labs and 95% is the story. What's happening? What are you looking at on the timeline? What were your periods like before? Because your period in and of itself, how heavy the flow, what happened around it, even it's still relevant from when you went from the switch to not having the period, that data can help me to go, what kind of body type do you have? Were you more estrogen dominant? Were you actually depleted on all levels? So I do believe in the testing. We have urine testing now too that can tell us how we break down the hormones. 
which gives a lot of insight for women who are having lots of mood swings. Because if we can dial in like, oh, the liver's bogged down here, or we can dial in, oh, the cells are having an issue detoxing the hormones, that can give us a lot of insight as well. So my answer is testing is good. I absolutely think it's worth it. And there are tests now too, where you could spit into a little tube every single day for an entire Mm -hmm. month for those women that are wondering what's happening every single day for a month. We have that now too. So, so you have access to this test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh How much is this test? (laughs) Sure. So no, no problem. So depending on, depending on what we're going to be testing. So for example, it runs, for saliva hormone testing, if we're just looking at the estrogen, the progesterone, testosterone, and Wait, one- sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but how many testing should I do? To I mean, if we want to do this right, because obviously, mm-hmm. you know, we, we need to do things right. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do we need? What kind of testing do we need? And mm-hmm. how long does it typically take? Yeah. So one day is the testing. Okay. It's one day of spitting in tubes if you're doing the the basic testing. Now, okay, if, so that's one kind of testing. Mm-hmm, okay. That's one kind of testing. The everyday testing to map a cycle would be every single day uh-huh. for four days. And it's four four measurements out of every single day. So okay. that's how those ones work. Now, if we're going to do it right, I do recommend doing a test where it looks at four points of cortisol, which are uh-huh. going to be included in your four saliva tests. And it looks at estradiol, estrone, it looks at estriol, your three types of estrogens. It looks at progesterone and then testosterone, and it combines ratios of those levels as well. That's that's ZRT lab. Those guys are out of Oregon. I use that one most specifically for that test, and it runs about $300. Okay, so um, when should you be getting the test? I mean, you know, there's the... Is it just perimenopause? And then once you get to menopause, forget it. No more testing. Cause it's like, like, when do you get these tests? What, okay. when is the best time to do it? You could get it anytime. Even if you're in menopause, you can still get these tests. You, what if you're on post menopause? Like for example, myself. Yep. Same thing. You can get really? it anytime. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cause it tells you what's happening, you know, in your tissues will hold on to hormones. So mm-hmm. your saliva will show what's happening in real time, what you're holding on to. So yeah, you can have it. You can have it postmenopausal. You can have it perimenopausal. I do, if we're looking at an ideal situation, having a look before you end up in, you know, menopause, because now we know what a baseline on you, but right. it's, it's okay in menopause. Okay, so basically if, um, if somebody, um, basically starting on their, their perimenopause journey with all the testing and all of these things. Uh, what can someone expect as an investment to, to you know, for like, I, I remember when I went to see a naturopath the first day, oh my gosh, like I, I walked out of there with several pills because I had to do milk thistle and all this kind of stuff. I had to do uh, detox first but, and, and it cost quite a bit. So what would you say the initial investment would be? Great question. All yeah. of us, all of us are different and I am not in the camp of hundreds of supplements. I'm very in the camp of targeting things. Yes. So on average, because yeah, of on average, I would say with labs and a yeah. protocol, you're probably looking at and, and time to have the labs review yeah, like a strategy, right? Like you, we need to have a plan, a strategy mm-hmm. so on average have that starting so that we don't lose our mind and uh, divorce her husband. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, ha- it happens. Yep. Yep. On average, you're looking between 800 to a thousand dollars. Yeah. That's the average. It. Yeah. I would yeah. say a thousand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's reasonable. I mean, you, you have to have a game plan. You need to have a strategy. You can't go this, go through this blindly and just think, yeah, okay, well, I kind of didn't feel it today and maybe I won't feel it tomorrow anymore. Like, you know, you can't kind of do that and, you know, you, yeah, you need to get a grip on, on, on what's going on. So, okay. That, that's really, really good to know. So, cause I do have people that come to me and say, Hey, if I wanted to get a testing done in the United States, what kind of testing and where do I go? I'm like, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm in Canada. <laughs> I, cause I think it's really, really important. Just, just the beginning of your journey. 
Mm -hmm. right? Just knowing where you're at so you know where to go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You got to have a map. You got to have a map. <laughs> Hands down. Absolutely helpful. Absolutely helpful. Well, my goodness. We've talked about so many different things and, and I definitely want to make sure that we end off and, and have folks so that they know how to find you. So let's, let's have you tell everybody where they can find you online, how to find you on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all the things. Give us the scoop, okay. Anna. Yeah, really, really easy. It's Unala Beauty Supplements. That's the handle for every social, right? You don't have to think about it. Just Unala Beauty <laughs> Supplements. That's it. Excellent. Yeah. We will be definitely, I'll be posting, you know, on, on updates and definitely we'll bring you back on so we can talk through what I discovered, what happened with my skin. I definitely yes, have my I do. I know. Absolutely. I because the whole point of this is that if I have to make improvements in this baby, I got to do it. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. We will do it. We will do it. Well, thank you so much, Anna, for coming oh. on. I sincerely appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much to Janine. Okay, we'll touch base in Instagram. Yes, we will. Yes, thank we you. will. Keep showing the garden, okay? We Hey, health junkies, are you feeling just off, feeling like you're aging a little bit faster than you want to and wondering what in the world is up? Hey, I might have some answers for you and some direction. If you want to chat with me, I am offering complimentary calls right now. You can head over to Dr. Spelled Out, J K R A U S E N D dot com. Take my quiz, click on the schedule of chat, and let's talk and see if we can get you in the right direction. And if I'm able to help you, I'm going to let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to help you find what you're looking for. Head over to drjkrausnd.com and check it out now. Hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.